Alrighty, welcome back guys. Let's get this cross-dressing pageant going. Ladies and gentlemen, we now begin the second day of the culture festival with the ever-popular Miss Yasugami pageant. Let's get right down to it and introduce our first contestant. She's a runaway express train who's in of a born and bred and can kill with both her fists and her looks. Presenting Kanji-chan of the first year class three. Kanji-chan. <laughs> so that looks like Marilyn Monroe. Ugh. Ew, that's so creepy! Oh, this is wrong on every level! Now, don't rip me apart for asking, but... What would you say is your best feature? My eyes? <laughs> wow! A conventional answer from this all-too-unconventional beauty! After such a strong start, I don't know how much of a chance the others have, but here's our second contestant! An eloquent heiress of the noble Juness. She's pure disappointment from the moment she opens her mouth. True. Presenting... Yosuke-chan of the second year class two! And here I thought Yosuke-senpai would be able to pull it off. Dude, it's terrifying. I can just imagine someone like him sitting across from me on a train. Now, you look ready to win in that outfit. <sighs> Do you often dress like this? Hell no! Uh... <clears throat> like, no way! <laughs> what is with this? The laughing stock's up here. What did you think this was about? I've already had about enough of this, but there's still more to come. Up next, our third contestant. She has the mildly bitter tang of the city, and she's made more girls cry than there are stars in the sky. Presenting our transfer student who's been breaking hearts in the second year, Class 2. talking about? I don't even look that bad. Senpai, why are you doing this? Whoa, I thought he was cooler than that. Sounds like your entrance is causing quite a stir. Did you sign yourself up? Um, ooh, yeah. Hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. Bro, we are up here in drag, all right? It doesn't matter. Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it! Our last contestant is a random, unaffiliated entrant. She's a friend of our other beauties. Calling herself King of the TV World, she's a cute, sexy little number. Give a warm welcome to Teddy Chan! Teddy in Wonderland. Give me your heart. That's a boy? He's so cute! I'd hit it. I mean... And the winner of this year's Miss Yasugami pageant is... The random contestant who won everyone's heart, Miss Teddy! champion, Miss Teddy will receive a very special prize. Later this afternoon, we will be hosting the Miss Yasugami pageant with actual beauties this time. Your reward is a position as an honorary judge in that pageant. Woohoo! An honorary judge? That's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. Yeah, he's like over the top innocent. 
Well then, Miss Teddy, how does it feel to have won the pageant and become a judge? <laughs> the long-awaited day has finally come! I decree that one of the judging criteria later this afternoon will be... Bust size. Ta-da! A swimsuit competition! What the hell? Over my dead body! Aw, I didn't bring a swimsuit. That bear needs to be disappeared. Well, I doubt he has the authority to declare that unilaterally. Oh no, girls. <laughs> This is great. I love the direction this is going. I mean, Kashiwagi is literally wearing a swimsuit to work practically. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. What is she, the rival woman on a soap opera? Wait, is Kashiwagi serious about winning this? Mr. Teddy dropped this off. Mr. He Teddy. He their swimsuits. Hey, we don't need them! <laughs> My mature charms will win the day. I brought my own swimsuit, of course. I brought my own too. No, that's okay. Uh, I, no, that's that's fine. What's with these people? Hey, let's let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. You call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. Okay, I still don't get this. I thought. Age of consent in Japan was like 14. Are these chicks like 16? What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Inaba. Why not just let them back out? Oh, and I suppose you think you're gonna take the crown, you little snoring pig! <laughs> snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. We went through hell because of you! That's it! Now I'm pissed! Oh, you're going to challenge me? It's useless. Don't waste your energy. Let this be a warning to the others, too. Ugh, <laughs> you're going to lose. Now's your last chance to run away. Run away? Why the hell would we run from someone like you? Well, we did kind of run away last time. That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Right, Risei-chan! Now, Jokun, we won't run from this, right? Huh? Me too? Why are you letting yourself be so easily provoked? There's no way! Absolutely no way that I'm wearing a swimsuit. Oh, yes you are. You're not going anywhere. Get in that swimsuit. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasugami pageant. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? Now for our next contestant, Miss J. Sasanaka of the second year's class two. Come on out, GA. Apparently the second most popular girl. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, um, I'm kind of shy and reserved, and my favorite food is pudding. No, it's not. That liar. It's steak. Yeah, big meaty steak. Thank you very much.
Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi! Hello, my name is Yukiko Amagi. Um, my family runs the Amagi Inn. If you ever find yourself in the area, please give us a visit. Our hot springs are open to the public year-round, so whenever you're in the mood to enjoy them, please drop by. I can appreciate a little bit of advertisement. <laughs> Alright, that'll do nicely. Next up, a very familiar face from the first year class to Miss Rise Kujikawa! thrilled to be here. So sorry that I'm not working as an idol right now. Rosette's gonna do her best, so I hope you'll all cheer for me. The real Rosette, ladies and gentlemen, in the flesh! Oh, thank you very much. Alright, MC. Calm down, buddy. Next is the mysterious transfer student of the first year's class one, Miss Noto Shirogane! Hey, Kanji. Here she comes! Hey, shh! Pipe down! I... I'm Naoto Shiragane. Wait, what the fuck? Damn, Naoto looks pretty good. She looks way better without that stupid hat on. It's hard to believe I'm up on a stage at a pageant like this. This is beyond my wildest imaginings. I... I really don't know what to say. C can I step back now? And with that, all six uniquely beautiful contestants are on stage! Now, let's have our special judge, Mr. Teddy, ask them some questions. Please keep in mind that if you anger me, you will be at a disadvantage. Well, uh, Miss Chie, do you have a boyfriend? What? A teddy, you... Ms. Yukiko, have you ever smooched anyone before? Huh? Stop it! Ms. Naoto, where are you ticklish? I, I beg your pardon? Can I stay at your house next time, Rise-chan? What kind of a question is that? Anyways, I have a surprise announcement for you all. Wait till you hear this. For the first time ever, this year's pageant will feature a swimsuit competition. And it's all thanks to Mr. Teddy here. We'll take a brief break while our contestants put on their swimsuits and be back in just a few moments. So Teddy has a tickle fetish. I see. <laughs> Ooh. You sound like a dirty old man. Chie Senpai is cute though. I think Hanako's belly button is wider than Chie's uh, waist. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? This is great! Wow. Yukiko-senpai. She is exactly how I imagined she'd be. Yoo-hoo! Here's Rosette! She's so gorgeous. Huh? I like Kanji. Huh? Huh? That, that chick? Huh? Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Well, sad news everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Fine by me. The fewer rivals I have to crush, the better. Oh, well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, Kanji. Huh? Uh, no, um... Well... Yeah, but don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. 
Who are you going for? Um, now so. Huh? Is that allowed? Of course it is. Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Looking at the way the vote went, you guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, it looks like you girls were all thinking the same thing. And so, there's a clear winner. Wait, what? You girls? Grand prize goes to... Miss Noto Shira Wait, what? Her androgynous charm seems to have won most of the girls' hearts. We'd like to present Miss Noto with her award now, but it looks like she stepped outside. She won, even though she dropped out of the last part. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Man, losing to Naoto. Well, I guess I didn't appeal to the girls that much. Oh well. Wait, what? What do you mean the girls? Isn't that I all think it's dudes? enough that we beat those two hands down, senpai. <laughs> How could I lose a beauty pageant? Uh, that's not a very good face. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither can I. Oh, oh, no, go. Miss Kajawagi. There, there, Nanako. Hanako. Definitely not Nanako. Oh. Yeah, there's so many of these names are so similar. Yes, yes. Nanako is much better than Hanako. Ah, good thing we found you. I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Would you like to walk around with us, Nanako-chan? Thanks. Then I'm gonna get going. Have a safe trip! Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. Okay, Dad. Hey, Nanako-chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Huh? 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 What did you just say, Yuki-chan? Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah! I'm down! Can I boil eggs in the hot springs? Oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? Come on, it'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Can I? Let's go! I want to spend the night! <laughs> Hot springs, Yukata! Flushed skins! Are you sure it's okay? I mean, isn't it still the busy season? We've had fewer visitors this year. There are some open rooms, too. Oh, okay! Might as well, then! Man, when was the last time I stayed at Yukiko's place? Oh yeah, hot spring time. Oh, we're in different rooms. Well, duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're going to do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. <laughs> is it one of those girls and guys together springs? I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah. By the way, what's up with this room? It looks pretty expensive. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. I was trying not to think about it, but 
You don't think something happened here, do you? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? The fact that there's a home phone, that's the scary part. Hello? <laughs> oh, I see. Cool, thanks. <laughs> that was the front desk. These guys are so silly. Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Wow, I'm Aggie in. Great service. I broke out in a cold sweat. Oh, come on then. Let's go wash it off. Who gets a cold sweat? I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? Wait, we'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs? How do you even do that? Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. Thank you, Sensei. You're welcome, Teddy. Summer the Calm. Uh, revives an ally with full HP. Okay. Yeah, I actually forgot there was combat in this game. Feels like we've been so long since we've gone into a dungeon. Come on! The elevator's here! I would play a Persona interactive novel. There's plenty of room. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, now tell your skin looks so soft. Can I touch? Can I touch? Huh? Um, wow. It really is smooth. You're so lucky. You have such fair skin and silky hair. No unneeded body fat either. <laughs> hey, where are you touching? Um, Nanako-chan! Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun! At home I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh. I, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me. Like not opening the door for strangers. Wow! I bet he's so proud of you! Hey, Nanako-chan, do you want to swim around? Can I? I've been swimming here since I was young. Do you still do it? Huh? Um... Why are you hesitating? Come on, let's race to the other side! Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk! I want lemon soda! Uh, what? Me too? Lemon soda? Mmm. Check out my dead man's float! You're good! Oh, what a giant spring! I'll show you all my teddy paddle! Ow! What the... Huh? Oh, shit. You guys! W w why are you guys here? That's my line! No, 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 no. No, we must hold the line, men. I 
gotta say, these girls have some pretty good arm strength. Retreat! It's an honest mistake! We're not gonna forget this! We'll have to punish them later! Wow, you got them good! Liam's pretty deadly, huh? I wonder if they caught a glimpse. Oh, it's actually the guy's turn to use the springs now. I got the times mixed up. <laughs> Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap. I think we went too far with them. Uh, what should we do? Oh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Yeah, sure. We'll never figure it out. Damn it! I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. They're so evil. Evil, I tell you! <laughs> I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> Hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. Let's just go to bed. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? What? <laughs> I heard it too! D don't tell me. I is there one here? One here? W one what? Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> this room! It's the one that announcer was staying in before she died. My mom was talking about it. Oh god, you said it! I was trying to block it out and you had to go and say it! So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here knowing full well. Damn it. First the hot spring, now this. We've been completely suckered. <laughs> oh, crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. Wait, what? Uh, sleeping faces? Are you gonna sneak into their room? You can't be- <sighs> Hey, what should we do? Damn, that was fast. Dude, seriously, I can't stay here! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! What the hell, man? <laughs> Good morning, everyone! It's a surprise awakening! No, a surprise break-in! This is Teddy, reporting in! When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it! Stop talking like that! Oh, check it out, a hairbrush. Ooh, and it's got long strands of hair on it. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time... Hey, Oops. good point. All right, I'll get my revenge, too. A, a toothbrush! Holy crap, my heart's pounding. Wait, why did he get... Why did the heart go over his head when he was talking about a toothbrush? But what about Nanako-chan? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Well, well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. Oh! I finally reached the futons! They're fast asleep! Why is that one so big? Excuse me? Oh, is it Nanako sleeping with someone? Yuki-chan! I'm scared of the ghosts! Alright. I can do this too. Time to prove I'm a man. Cheers, senpai! Be gentle! Huh? One, two...
too? Where's the rest of the futons? Hmm? What's going on? What? Oh, no, no. Uh, sheesh. Oh, my. So that's how you guys are. Ah, uh, you should have said so. Mmm, such naughty boys. Oh. Ah, be gone! Holy crap! D don't touch me! We were crying our poor eyes out until now, you know. We thought there were no men who appreciated our beauty. All right, boys. I'm all yours. And not a word about this to anyone. <laughs> Come here, tiger. Uh, Yosuke, you can have uh, Hanako. Oh, this feels great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako san were staying in the room next to ours? Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. Huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Naoto-kun. Please don't bring that up again. Well, they do make a good team. Uh, no saving, please. Oh, that's it? What should I do today? Ooh, it's Halloween, isn't it? Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. The Halloween fair starts at Juness today. We're nowhere near ready. We have the decorations, but I can't find the floor manager, and I have no idea who to ask for help. You're the only one I could think of. Please, I'm begging you. So I'm your only hope? Fine, Yosuke. She looks really good. Oh, my back hurts, but I'm finally done. I really like the color orange. I like it. Ooh, perfect timing. We really are a well-oiled machine, huh? But man, that costume's a good fit for you. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. What kind of boast is that? Anyway, you're a lifesaver. Thanks. Then again, as long as he's here... It, it looks like he's having fun. Wait a second. Is this a costume set? Guess he's like our store mascot now. Huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke-kun, uh, what's going on here? There you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That got canceled a while ago. What? Hmm? I uh, thought you were there for the morning meeting when they announced it. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you were still groggy since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. Nice, Yosuke. This this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? Well, if you're gonna work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. 
At least I got a sick costume. Yo, that better be a costume I can use. Oh, good, good. Oh, good. Yay. It's cold today. Now for our next story. Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There's been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh, that man came to my school. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Our primary concern should always be to protect these children's futures. I mean, fog is just On that note, clouds. Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded. But some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. <gasps> My head hurts. Got a probably sick there, Nanako. Big bro, are you going back home in spring? It's going to be winter soon. If it snows, can we make a snowman? We can play a lot. Let's play all the time until spring. Don't worry, Nanako, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be just fine. Old man Winter. I don't mind Winter too much. Better than sweating my ass off in the summer. Uh, let's... Wait, what was the question? Uh, geometric shapes. Sure. I did a little skating when I was younger. I mean, if you're from Canada, you pretty much play hockey. It's like, it's almost like forced on you. Senpai. Yes, yes, lots of things to do. That's all nice, but I have something else I want to do. And it involves... Actually, there's someone I need to look for. Um, where, there is a random guy. I think it's a principal or something. He's around here. The fuck? Hello there. Oh yeah, that's that Okina City quest. Yeah, so it's all very boring. Um, so there's a quest around here which is actually going to help me for a future Hermit quest. You don't need to do it, uh, but it's still good to. Oh, wow, it's a- holy shit, it's a lot of quests up here. Alright, well we only need this, guys. Tanks. Um, probably tanks in Nato's bunker. Yeah, probably. Yeah, right, see. Hello. Ah, 
I'm walking you. Letter? Looks pink. Hmm. I mean, Nato is correct. I always like when these people, like, confess their love when they barely talk to you. And it's like, how, how, you don't even know me. What are you talking about? I'll see you again. Yes, now Nanako. We've got too many names, too many names. Nauko, Nanako, Nauki, uh, Hanako. Put some more. Uh, sure, this one. That one's pretty good for grinding. Because I use a lot of Goho M's when I uh, grind. TV. Mm. Nah. What do you got for me, Maruka? I mean, uh, Tanaka. Uh, Ryugu Stone. Feed Melon. Uh, that stone seems pretty good. Might be something good we can trade that for. Okay, let's finish these books off. We don't have too many left. Senpai. The true killer. Uh, most definitely not. Let's try to save time here. I want to get some things done before I end this video. Okay, so we're gonna hang out with Nanako once. Uh, Nanako, Jesus Christ! I can't get any names right today. Uh, we're gonna hang out with uh, Naoto again. Hello. Not ready to advance. Yeah, we'll still do it anyway. Ooh. Actually, I don't think I want to. Uh, this is this is a tough one because sometimes you can hang out with people at night. Yeah, we actually won't. There's a way to. I, I want to save as much time as possible. Oh.
I mean, super fancy things in life are kind of overrated. See you again. Hmm. Welcome back. Oh, package game for me. Wow, Tanaka is so quick. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the book today. Um, we're gonna go to the shrine and use one of those charm things. Unless, unless Naoto's around here. If she's around here, then we can just get a free hangout with her. And no one down here. I don't know the days that party members lurk around the shopping districts. Uh, I think it's random. Oh wow, that's lucky. Senpai. Yes. Wow, that's so lucky. Well. Senpai. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't know what that could be about. Oh! Please accept it. Caramel drop. Good night. Oh, it's raining today. So that pretty much means one thing we can do is uh, go to Mr. Hermit and accept that quest, or uh, finish the one I'm doing. I know this has been a really long video. Uh, just because I'm trying to stuff in time right now for a certain thing. I think I already have... Okay, yeah. So we need to finish that quest, and that's why I'm rushing right now. Guys, I need to go into the TV and do some grinding. happens at level 10. Maybe it's free. No, I don't think it'd be free. Oh, welcome back. That would be cool though. Alright, let's read a book. And then we're gonna go go into the TV tomorrow. Yes, 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 we will. Senpai! Yeah, that's why we go into the TV, because... Uh, because we're gonna have to... Uh, tonight's time slot's gonna be taken anyway. See? It's all about being time efficient. Conko Dory? I have no fucking idea. Cuck. Whatever. Cuck thing. Woo! Alrighty, I'm gonna take this day to go into the TV, finish some of those miscellaneous requests, like, um, you know, find gun and stuff, you know, little stuff like that to get done, so you won't miss out on any story. 
However, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.